you know, there are people that we talk about in every kind of industry, right? It doesn't have to be music, it can be any industry. You always come across certain people that are just full of shit, right? They're just fakers and pretenders and trying to be somebody and trying to like work their way through something to make things happen and uh, they are very good at it right but when that kind of person when that kind of person deals with a very strong personality uh who has made it in the industry or who uh has the knowledge of how to crack a business dealing how to crack how to do legalities and how to uh do certain things and uh ha has that experience of uh, leading and taking care of um a show and how to like you know i'll i'll be honest like i am known not only as a bass player but more than a bass player right i am booked under my name for certain music festivals and lots of events different so different types of events uh not only because i am a professional musician and i'm very serious about my job and i have a good work ethic but also because i have a very good way and very systematic and organized way of dealing with organizers and clients i just find it so ridiculous sometimes that some of these organizers slash clients think that they are some big shit and that they can scare away musicians into doing or threaten musicians into doing something that they don't want to do. Clearly, they don't have the uh, experience and uh, knowledge of, uh, you know, uh, doing these things a certain way clearly they don't have that uh, uh, understanding and knowledge of what this person has done in the industry or what they are capable of doing right but as musicians I think at least me I think I would say that I am humble enough to not expose somebody if I go through some something right and I go i i take screenshots of everything when i get into an argument or something didn't go my way and stuff i always uh take screenshots because i don't want to you know get um falsified i don't want my statements to be falsified by somebody right so when i'm talking on whatsapp or if i'm over a, over a phone call my phones are recording okay my audio phone calls are recording my um whatsapp messages they're all with me like i'm very safe like that because in the past i've dealt with people who have falsified and want to and they think that you're just naive to just go with it right because you're a woman right or because you are uh just you know i don't know because i'm sweet okay trust me i'm sweet I'm humble, but I can also be very nasty. Like, you haven't seen that side of me and you don't want to because I'm capable of doing things that no other man is capable of. And I can show you where I belong and this position that I have achieved in this uh, industry, I've put in my heart and soul into it and I've car carved out a history for myself in these 18 years or 18 and a half years that I've spent in the music industry. And I continue to do so. Um, so don't think that I am naive to just go with whatever because you committed and you made a mistake on your part as a client and uh, I'm just supposed to roll with it. I'm not legally obligated to do any shit. Uh, if you don't send me a confirmation email, if you don't have my signature on something, on something that we agreed on, we have no deal. Okay? That's just how I work. And if I'm doing some work for you because you are, you know, somebody that I trust, that's on a friendly uh, basis and we have a mutual understanding, okay? But do not misuse that trust, right? Because then what will happen is I will be brutally honest and I will publicly expose you. You think I'm not going to do that? I'm totally going to do that. And you, you're coming to me saying shit like, Oh, you're not confident enough to fill out 150-seater venue. Like, bro, I've done concerts, music festivals, auditorium performances all around the world. Places like Romania, Poznan, Temiswara, UK, you know, many, many places under my name for years where I've had 
more than 50,000 people sometimes. Or I've had, like, 80,000 people sometimes. Like, this shit doesn't scare me anymore. I don't care. I don't care if you're saying, oh, this vent, you're burning the bridge between so-and-so and you. No, you did that. If they're not smart, smart enough to know that you did that and you just decided to be uh, representing me without my consent and my permission, you, it's your mistake, not mine. And you ask anybody in the music industry. I've worked in this mu music industry, not just this music industry, but like industries abroad as well, right? I've worked with so many people over the years. You ask anyone how easy I am to work with. Like not only in terms of making music, but just dealing with uh, shows, dates, call times. I'm the most, I would say, on-time person. I'm the most sincere, very dedicated, very, very serious about my job. Nobody will have a thing to say about me because I've never given anybody the opportunity or a chance to uh, say that. Everybody sees that in my work. Everybody sees when I get there before the band. Everybody sees my um, sincerity and obedience every time I've showed up for a show, even when it's not my show, okay? I mean, it's common sense to think that there must be some underlying hidden reason why I'm backing off from the show, right? Um, I'll give you examples where I've had IV needle in my hand. I got discharged from the hospital just to travel to Dubai to go do a show and came back to the hospital in Mumbai again. Uh, there have been times where I've had one not three fever and I traveled all the way to somewhere, did a show, did a three hour show, came back. I did not let the show stop though, and I did not let my health affect the show uh, or my performance. I've always given my 100%. People that work with me know, even when I am not doing well physically, or if, or, or, uh, if I am sick, or if I was hospitalized, and there is a show around that date, or if I'm you know, still hospitalized and I can't make it to the show and the doctor is like, oh, uh, you, you cannot do this, I will still do it. That's how much I dedicate myself uh, when I take a show. It's my responsibility. That's how much I commit myself to a show. So yeah, I don't even need to justify myself. Uh, I've done shows despite of my, you know, health problems when I've been sick you know um but uh yeah so there must be some underlying reason for me to back out from a show or a project you know uh it's not that easy to piss me off you know so like i guarantee you that nobody a in any industry that i've worked in will say that oh i had a really hard time working with mo or oh, she's a pain in the ass no you know she's a she's a really hard musician to work with I guarantee you there will be no single person saying that. Eventually the truth comes out. Anyway, I'm, I, I don't want to give out too many details because, you know, I'm not about this whole like personal bashing and stuff. So I'm not taking any party's names. I'm not taking the person's name. But I think it's an issue that should be talked about. And you coming to me saying shit like, uh, oh, you think people want you? Oh, you think uh, venues want to do shows on your name you're wrong nobody wants you your name hardly sells actually okay then why did you book me i'm sorry why did you have my picture on the poster as the big thing and the other other artists like teeny mini miny mo why is the project called with my name where i wasn't even informed of it like, what gave you the right to do so? What gave you the right to market the concept without even expressing and clarifying about the concept with me? You falsified information at the time of booking and just decided to change the name of the show to me, to my name? Makes no sense. It's like hiring... See, I'm not close to Aya Rahman or any other artist, to be honest, but it, just to give an example, it's like hiring Aya Rahman for his own show and then uh, close to the date of the concert he realizes that he is in a German polka band or he's in a West African band and where he doesn't even get to play his mu own music but it's the show is on his name 
do you think people are interested in the West African band or the German polka band music or Ea Rahman? Do you think the tickets are going to sell because of the music or Ea Rahman? So, yeah. I think um, organizers, clients, event organizers, um, do your homework, do some uh, education in the field of business, and then deal with people like me, okay? Because I've had too much shit in my life, and I don't, I've not signed up to take people's shit, and you think you can threaten me and scare me by saying shit like, oh, you're not gonna get a gig, or, you, or I'm gonna, like, talk shit about your name in the industry and make sure that you don't get a single show in the industry. Too old for that shit. I don't care if anybody wants me or not. I do things on my own name, under my own name, and I do things in my control. Nobody gets to control me, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna sign off from this video. Take care, ciao.